Welcome to the 29th lecture on numerical analysis. We are studying numerical integration and we started Simpson's rule in our last lecture which we will continue in this lecture. In our last lecture we studied Simpson's one third and three eighths rule. Right. Simpson's one third rule is given by this formula where h is b minus a over n we studied last time h over 3 the first and the last terms are multiplied by 1 the odd terms f of x1 f of x3 f of x5 are multiplied by 4 the even terms f of x2 f of x4 f of x6 they are multiplied by 2 right and this is the formula for the 3 8 rule the formula is that we have h multiplied by 3 by 8 fraction 3 by 8 the first and the last terms are multiplied by 1 the multiples of 3 for example f of x3 f of x6 they are multiplied by 2 and the and all other terms are multiplied by 3 so these are the two formulas the one third rule formula number one for one third rule formula number two for three eighths rule we studied these two rules and their formulas last time and we solved an example in this lecture we will solve another example we are given this integral to be computed this is a definite integral with a is equal to one and b is equal to a is equal to one and b is equal to 2 so we have to compute and we are supposed to to apply these two rules for n is equal to 6 so h is b minus a over n to minus 1 over 6 so h comes out to be 1 over 6 so let's apply the first rule one third rule first right h over 3 this is the rule h over 3 f of x naught 4 times f of x 1 2 times f of x 2 so on and before we apply f of x naught before we compute f of x naught f of x 1 etc let's see what these values are x naught is the first value a x 1 is the base value 1 plus plus the h 1 over 6 the second value is 1 plus 2 over 6 because the base value is 1 now. The third value is 1 plus 3 over 6. Then 1 plus 4 over 6. Then 1 plus 5 over 6. Then final value is 1 plus 6 over 6 which is equal to 2. So we plug these values in here and we reach to an, a very interesting answer that is 0 0.693 a very interesting answer because if you want to find out the exact solution that also comes out to be 0 0.693 and that's great we have got zero percent percentage error so the simpsons one third rule has once again proved itself to be 100 percent correct right Let's see what is the 3 8 by 8 rule and what answer do we get if we apply the 3 8 rule on the same problem. We have the same intervals, sub intervals x0, x1, x2 up to x6 and we plug these values in, in this equation, 3 8 rules equation, Simpson's 3 by 8 rule. And if we do that, we plug all these values in here and if we do that we reach to an answer oh that is also 0 0.693 that's great this means both simpsons both rules 3 by 8 rule and sorry one third rule and 3 by 8 rule they both have given you 100 percent correct answer the percentage error is zero percent in both cases right so that's all for this lecture we'll keep on studying more about more about numerical analysis techniques in our future lectures thank you